Let's try it. So, so here's the melody. I'm going to start it with this. string, you know, you hear your voice going up, you go up. That's why it's really easy to do it on one string. Plus, then we keep it all on that first string, and it makes it really easy to find the chords. Okay, so, here was the range that we came up with, just harmonizing. Six, six, three minor, then five, then six, and then a little passing, this is like a back cycle one. And a little back cycle to six. to get those two things together. Some whatever voicings we need to do to get those numbers on top of, you know, those chords on top of this, this melody. So the first one's easy. There's the open string. And down here, the first chord is E minor, so here's the melody. And the chord we chose is the three minor, so that's also really easy to just put it right in the melody. Five chord. So we use the five chord, and we picked up the melody here. So I'm just going to do that five chord, the D chord down here. That gets a little tougher. Now we had a five chord with this melody. So I want kind of five to one or to six. So we have to get this melody. Here's your five chord that starts it off. You could do that, but if you notice, that note's the fourth string, we can just get the top part of that chord. Cool? So, all we do is take that chord that we harmonize with, found this melody, and if you watch for those open strings, you'll always see if you can get, for example, the note is the open string, get the rest of the chord, and you're there. The next chord, we have to get along with the sixth chord. If you're here, this is an E minor chord, so we can just grab that E minor right there. So we have this. And now, let's see, let's see, where are we We're going? Uh, so i got to get my bearing straight here. It's uh, We did a one chord there. We did a one chord. So one chord was a G, right? But the melody's here. So if we get this one chord somewhere up here, well, there's a G. There's a G up by where we're playing. So you can play the one chord like this with a root five shape. Okay. And then we had this. That's the melody there. So we have to get this together with a two chord. It's kind of a reach there. Yeah. So, take the C shape. That lets us get this melody all in one place. You can kind of play it right on top of that. That root note, the A, you can just play on the open string. So you get a nice low bass. back to a six chord, so I'm going to get that six chord right here. We had this. So from here we had... Okay, and then at 
that point we did a little passing. I'm just going to kind of toss that in. Then we have to play this melody. Let's just do that up here. You could get, try and get it here, but that's a really big reach. Okay. So let's just get the melody up here and play E minor. Now the next melody you know, is here. So let's. And the chord we chose for that one harmonized it with a three minor chord. So I'm going to do that three minor seven again. And then we have two chords for this part of the note. Uh, so two chords, that's a A minor. Now you can jump out of that to get here, so I'm going to just get it here. So I'll have to go like that and move out of the chord. What do we do there? A five chord. So I'm. It's this is where we did. So I'm just gonna do the D chord again like that. chord. So we did melody here. And again, five. For six, go to three. So I'll change that last measure to the three seven just to bring us back to the beginning, kind of like that the last time we did it. Um, so now we have a um, one minor, three, three five D, back to E minor, passing five chord to one, two, which is an A, and back to E minor. Passing three seven. E minor again. Three minor B. Two minor A minor. And five D. And three. Two. And I'm gonna take this D and do a sixth run here. Put that in the
corpse. Okay, so that's enough of the solo arrangement. Let's take it and in another video we'll do a little bit of the, the uh, solo and over. Or just want to do it here? Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll put it in this one. Okay, so we're in the key of G, right? When you look at this, we got a lot of sixes, a lot of threes, and then obviously there's a one and a four. Well, there's a one and a two and a five, you know, one, four, and five. That two is a substitution. When you look at this, it's mostly one, one, five, three, two. Um, so, you know, one, four, and five, you can play either. And when you see minor, you put your pinky on the root note, right? So, my first most obvious approach to, to playing over this with the pentatonic scales is to take the keyword in and put my pinky on it. Okay? If I play these chords, let's get this just kind of arranged as a, as a, a bit of harmony. So, it's six, uh, one, two, three, four.
point of, of uh, knowing these, then the goal is to learn some other ones really well, you know, and keep adding, work in some other positions so you can do those same licks everywhere. Because you can do all the same, same things in the second position. Cool and so on. You can do those exact same things in the second position, and we can work in the other octaves too. So, you know, when you're, when you're looking at this video, the thing is to try and pick out each of those specific, specific licks. I got maybe 10 other videos up now that just go through doing those same chord licks over every possible chord progression, everything, you know, every, everything that you can imagine, different styles, blues, rock, country, you know, uh, went through a couple songs and, and just did solos and solos using only those licks, only those licks, all in the first position, octaves and uh, some major, some minor, you know, sometimes put in the pinky, um, sometimes put in the, the pointer finger, the, you know, the chord progression here is not going to really let you put your your pointer finger on it. It's going to sound it's going to sound wrong, you know, because it has so many of the minor chords and it's based on the sixth minor chord and it goes to three and it goes to two. So at any point in this progression, if you put your pointer finger on the keynote, it's just going to sound wrong. So you got to you got to either use you know your pinky down here or your pinky up here. And if you want to go the rest of the fretboard, you have to start using second position, third position. But focus on those chord licks, those chord licks, those chord licks, just over and over. And then we can add some of these other notes. Lines, I should still be this fundamental. You just end with a, you know, end with a couple of extra notes. Cool, cool. Um, okay, that should be more than enough to get your roll. That's a long video.